Eric wants an update on using the screen in place of the radials. So um, we can talk about that. Um, I know, Joe, you haven't had a chance to be on the area for quite some time. We were chatting pre-show about that. But yeah. um, I've been using the screen a lot, and it's been working really well. I, I, I took it with me to Hamvention, and I'm kind of glad I did because it was um, at the, two of the campsites – I had the vertical set up and um, I used that that window screen underneath my um, either that quarterway vertical or the Wolf River uh, Sporty 40 and um, had no problem uh, making a match, um, pulling in tons of contacts, uh, DX stations, the whole nine yards. Uh, when we were at the um, campground in Ohio, though, we were ran I ran a wire antenna because everybody else was running verticals. And um, it's kind of, you know, when you got about, 100 hams in a concentrated spot all trying to get on the air. You want to try to be as different as possible to minimize the interference. So, <laughs> but uh, no, it's um, if you haven't tried the window screen and uh, ground plane, it's, I, I don't know what to say. It, it works. And I've, I've been really, um, been, um, been, it's been performing for me. I think you next know, time it, I go to town and find myself in a hardware store, I'm going to get one because that just looks like such a slick setup, and it would let me use my Wolf River coil out at camp at a quasi-permanent installation. Right. Michael, have you been able to use it on the bigger coil, uh, their 80-meter coil? And if so, did that help with the bandwidth at all? Oh, good you question. know, that's a really good question. I have not. I've just used it on the Sporty 40, and um, I, I, I do think that there is a little bit, we do get a little bit more bandwidth on on for, on 40 meters with it with the sporty 40 because i've had no problem um getting you know a good match in the in both the digital portion of the band and the phone portion that's you know mm -hmm. separated by by how much usually what i do is for the digital portion is i got to have the whip all the way extended and then when i want to go down to phone i just drop it oh maybe about a half a section um to mm -hmm. So I do have to do a little bit of adjustment of the whip length in order to get a good match okay. between phone and the data. But um, but that is a really that's something that we should we should probably see and um, to try to compare between the two. If if the band you know how much more the bandwidth increases, especially on on eighty meters. So. Right, because you think so. We we have a ground radial system to reduce uh, uh, ground resistance. Mm -hmm. Right, that's why we put it out there. So either some antennas only have a single co counterpoise, sometimes have radials. If you get into broadcast situations, there's a whole grid that they can put out under an AM oh, tower yeah. uh, that you used to push off that. So the idea of this actually sounds more like a one of these these underground ground radio grids from mm -hmm. an AM broadcast station. And in theory, you know, it's just a big mat. It's almost like putting a big sheet of metal under it. Basically, like yeah, of, yeah. In terms of resistivity between the, you know, any two points there. So that's, I mean, it really should be a great plane to push off of. Uh, but I would like to see the difference in bandwidth because, you know, when we work 80 meters, it's a very small bandwidth that uh, any antenna, even a full dipole, oh, yeah. at most is probably going to give you like 200 kilohertz. Yep. You know, so if you cut it at... Um, 38 or 3900 you're probably good between 38 and 4 which is great for phone but it's not good for the cw portion so really is something we should look at is seeing where that 2 db uh bandwidth is and go from there yeah i just made a note um i'm gonna go camping this weekend i'll talk about that a little bit later so i'll probably bring the screen with me but um i'll i'll throw the um silver bullet 1000 in my kit and see if we can take some take some measurements while we're out there this weekend. I, I would say this, if you're going to do this for, <laughs> um, for general purposes, <laughs> just get some cheap metal screen, you know, aluminum would probably be fine. You know, got to get bronze uh -huh. or copper because after about five or six or maybe 10 activations, eventually it's going to get ding rolled up and it's going to start to fray and you're just going to go buy another one. So don't go spending a lot of money on the bronze. Yeah. That's yeah, the reason I read off the 36 by 100 first. <laughs> 
I must have used that window screen for eight or nine activations so far. It is getting a little bit frayed around the edges, but it's still holding up. So yeah. it's uh, the, a good question. The, so, do you got any sharp edges on it? No. Okay. Not like not like hardware cloth that'll puncture your fingers when you try right, to right. do anything with it. But uh, no, I haven't had. Have you thought had, about I, putting holes in the corners to stake it down? I saw a couple people have, have suggested that to, um, you know, grommets. I heard one person was going to put a grommet right in the middle so they could put a gr the ground stake through it. Um, duct tape around the edges, you know, it would be um, would be an option too. You know, You're right. Would... I think, though, if you put anything around the edges, rolling it up is going to be an issue, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It would be. It would be. But so far... I mean, I, I paid like seven dollars for this screen, um, plus the Perfect. Menards eleven percent discount. <laughs> Perfect. So you got just out of curiosity, in the mail. Yeah. yeah. So just out of curiosity, so you met uh, <laughs> Junie, the duck, the duck lady. Yes. Does she, yeah. does, she duck chicken, does she use chicken wire on hers, or what is she doing now? That's what a do, good what question. Ah, uh -huh, see, get it, chicken wire. And see, duck. now we got it. Now we got it. Now we got to compare window <laughs> screen versus chicken wire. Right. Well, the chicken wire is definitely heavier gauge. It's probably like an 18 gauge wire, and the um, screen is probably like 30 gauge. It's real thin. Mm -hmm. Right. So I don't know. It's probably a horse apiece, really. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. But I bet we are willing <laughs> to go Mythbusters on it if need be. I, I, well, I foresee that as a potential future collaborative project, Michael, when you find your way to this undisclosed location. Well, maybe I'll make a note. Maybe I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go to Fleet Farm on my way up to field day, and um, I'll bring a roll of, uh, I'll, I'll get a roll of chicken wire, and uh, we, can, we can lay it out and <laughs> uh, give, it a, give it a shot. So. Right. I, I think, honestly, I think it's all going to be pretty close. I mean, it may oh, yeah. be, no, it be too, a couple but still, it would be fun. The other, but it's going to be interesting to see. And then you're mm -hmm. just using still the alligator clip to go from, the, go from ground to the screen, correct? You know, initially I was, but um, I'm not anymore. I'm just because my whole, my whole base is metal. I've just mm -hmm. been setting. I've just been setting the base on top of the screen and not using the wire at all, and it hasn't made a difference. So really interesting. I initially used the wire because I didn't know if if everything was going to conduct through, mm -hmm. uh, but um, no, I've I I haven't I haven't taken the time to you know hook that wire up. So okay, um, we have had some people say that you know they've they've picked up aluminum screen and it's it's got the black powder coating on it to. Yeah. Um, to protect oh, it. Oh yeah. But so you're gonna so if you if, if all you've got available to you is that black screen, you are gonna have to um sand it, you know, get get yourself a nice, you know, just some kind of a shiny spot and then and then use use um an alligator clip to go from that to the to your base. It, and in, in case you're use, inquiring yeah. minds mm -hmm. obviously don't go use ahead. the nylon stuff or the you know the plastic stuff because there is that out there too. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> the fiberglass. Inquiring minds may want to know. I did look. Chicken wire is comparable price wise to the window screen. I thought for oh, sure there we chicken go. wire would be cheaper. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. They're probably all again. It's it's all going to be apples or I mean, apples to apples. It's really yes. Uh, I think regardless. So yes, the wire is closer in regards to the the mesh, but the chicken wire has got a thicker, uh, more. Um, uh, more surface area mm -hmm. per strand, so I think it probably balances out. Um, now that you know, we've been talking about the woofer recoil, so but now that you've been using the woofer recoil extensively with your new window screen array, have you found any bands that has been hard to get a good SWR reading on? Not yet. Um, I think the majority of, of the bands I've used it on so far are uh, 40, 20. 15 and I 17. I haven't had I haven't had a chance to get a get a good activation on 10 meters yet. Um, but those those four bands I haven't I haven't had any problems uh, getting a good match uh, with you know with with the window screen. Right, and realistically, from what we found out with the 213 inch whip, is that you can pretty much work 20 on up 
with just adju adjusting the length of the web. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. And if you have the sporty 40, that gives you 40. So, and if you put the little jumper in there, like we've shown in a previous video, you pretty yes. much got 40 through 10 with very little work. You don't even have to mess with the coil anymore. Like you used to with the silver bullets. Um, yep. So with the question that he asks, is, is, are any bands uh, you don't get a good SWR and, and theoretically that's not possible because mm -hmm. you have actually a better ground plane. Um, all you got to do is adjust the length of your whip or add the coil in. Um, if you do have the silver bullets or the mini bullets, I, is it called the mini bullets? I think, it's I think the silver bullet mini. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the 1000 is the big one and the mini is the short one. Right. I mean, you really shouldn't have a problem with that. The question is, is 80, does it improve your bandwidth with 80 meters? Yeah. That's something we really need to look into. So uh -huh. someone, I don't know, maybe an electrician needs to get a couple long lengths of wire, uh, cut to a pork <laughs> wing, and then we're going to figure it out. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.